Hi guys, it's Moz here for Moz 6510 Models on the workbench today. I have this new tooled K2Y ambulance in 1 to 35 scale from FX. So, I'm a little bit late to the party for this one. So, the box itself is some really nice box art. Sorry, it's bigger than the camera. I've tried to adjust the stand, but I'm going to do it from here. Um, this one here um, was released uh, a couple of weeks ago. No, yeah, it was. Well, we were told a couple of weeks ago it was going to be ready, and I got mine this week. Um, the code for this one is A1375. So, quite a short code for Airfix, really. A3175, 1 to 35 scale, and this one comes with photo edge parts and interior detail. Um, some information at the bottom there in different lingo, but yeah, really nice box art there. Really impressed with the looking of that. Um, again, I think uh, I think it's Mr. Toby, uh, Toby, I think it's called, um, has done a really good job with this. Side of the box, um, it's going to be a skill level three. Uh, three flying hours, a numerous amount of paint. So if you're doing A, B, C, and D, you're going to need all them. A, D, you need the extra 253. If you're doing the B, you need the 7490, 224. And if you're doing the C, you just need the number 74. No paints or glue in this kit. There are four decal decal schemes or different schemes. You're going to be having um, four different schemes. You've got this one here, which is the Nor um, Motor Ambulance Convoy Royal Army Service, uh, Northwest Europe. You've got the British Army, North Africa, 1940. This one here, the Egypt one, which is 1942. And then the um, Auxiliary Territorial Service from 1944. I presume most of us will be doing that one. Number C, most definitely. So some bump there about the uh, vehicle itself. It's uh, 178 millimeters long. 68 millimeters wide and 146 pieces so there's quite a bit involved in this kit all good um again side of the box you've got enough the box out on the side and then just uh the code there and some special features on the side here you've also got it was it's manufactured in korea obviously it's manufactured in korea but this model design and tooling copyright 2022 Decal schemes and pack design 2022 as well it is made in Korea because it is manufactured in uh, by Academy. So just to clear up any myths or um, ideas that people have, it is an Airfix research kit. It is then designed by Academy and then the tool then becomes Airfix's tool, right? But it's also been made by Academy. <laughs> and then it's manufactured by uh, Academy. So, and they have no right to use that tool unless they have an ex uh, an agreement with Airfix. So basically, all Airfix have done this time is outsource the design, okay? You know, we all know that they outsource the making of the tool. They outsource where they get the the um the kits manufacturer tool using their tool but they've come they've um got an agreement with academy this time and basically all the research they've done on this kit they've then given it over to academy to design and then you know create the tool and manufacture it um but airfix own that tool i hope that clears everything up and that <laughs> and that's come from dale but i knew he said this about the tanks as well so the new tanks that are coming are going to be um academy as well but um it is you know it's just one of those things and it's not uncommon for this to happen you know all parts of manufacturing do get outsourced so um but if you love academy you're going to love this kit uh hornby hobbies limited so there you go it's official product by them and also you've got some austin is a registered trademark of uh what's that say there sorry it's a quick look S-A-I-C Motor Corporation, which is cool. And then also you've got your, your warnings and your bumps there in different languages. So while it's there, let's uh, open the box and let's just see what you get inside. So pretty full box. These are quite long sprues, which we'll take a look at later. There's your clear part. Quick look at the decal sheet. Absolutely gorgeous decal sheet there. Look at that. 
Uh, I think Mr. Mock had something to do with this. Um, nice close-ups there. So you've got some really, really nice crisp decals or decals, depending on how you want to say it. Because you've got all the options there. You can see that goes on the roof, obviously. And then you've got all like your military um, numbers and letters there. Really, really nice. Really special. Really, really nice. Good. So that's a start. There we have the instructions. And let's jump in and do the instructions first off because that's how we roll on this channel. Right, so instruction booklet. Okay, some bump there about the actual ambulance itself. We're going to turn the page over because we don't need to know anything. Again, marvellous bit about this is that they, they're going to have the, uh, the, the sprues there. So you've got a call out for the sprues. You've got the call out for the photo etch. The one piece bonnet comes as a single piece so it's not attached to um the tooling itself and you also have the clear there which is e so a b d and e so that must mean that if they bring out another um version of this there will be a c the hell is just it's standard anyway okay here we go so let's build it so you build up the chassis first um column's going across and um or the ribs, I should say, going across. And it says, no correct position of square detail. So just make sure these are perfectly in line. You're going to be building that quick. Also, they call out the um, the paints here. So if you're doing A and D, it's 253. If it's um, you're doing B and C, it'll be 74. Quite simple, really. Again, you're moving through leaf springs, and you start building, I think that's the transmission or the, or the bottom end of the engine. Moving on through, um, again, more leaf springs. Then you're doing the prop, uh, and then you're doing the diff at the back, and then you just add in the lugs there to keep the spring in, which is good. Again, call out for the paint on each page. Brilliant. And then here it's saying assemble in numerical order, starting with number one, obviously. So number one goes in, then number two. So you put that in first. Number two, put the, um, um, the, the cross beam onto the chassis itself and then you add part d25 just there so that's the exhaust going in etc wheels you've got uh, three part wheels obviously so the half basically halves and then you're going to be putting the drum in the middle there or the hub as you call it and then you then add that to the chassis and the bits you've got uh, a steering rack there to go in so pretty good Fuel tanks then go on, and then you're going to start putting the wings on in the front of the vehicle. Again, the tanks are three part or four part actually. So you've got front end, middle, and then you also got the filler there, which I thought was quite a nice touch. So you get a lot of detail. When you see that when they break it up like that, it's a lot of detail. It's all one molded piece. Cool. Rear view. So you're doing a reference here on the rear view. So these are the um stretchers so lower part of the stretchers so you've gone back on the floor pan at the back here so you have i missed a piece just making sure i've not missed a bit no i haven't missed a bit so so you've got the floor pan and you're going to be start um putting all that together then you've got the bulkhead here which is good and then some parts there for inside the cab there's a doorway there which i presume yeah you've got to make up that doorway which is good so again numerically so you're going to be putting the glass in so it could be an option that if you if you um spray this up first then put the glass in you won't have to mask it up or you will have to mask up the glass afterwards um but or again call out for the uh colors that you need there the paints that you need pull together and then you've got more stretches all you know, just assembling there again assemble start with order one Putting on the sides, putting on the spare tyre, spare wheel there in the front. Again, more call outs. And then you start doing some work inside the um, inside inside the uh, front of the truck there. So you've got, you've got decals there, you've got your steering wheel, you've got your steering rod there. And all telling you which colours you need. Uh, seat goes in and then the passenger seat goes in. Gear stick, um, handbrake. All the stuff you, you'll see in the front of that vehicle. Then the roof goes on, looks really nice. Then you put in the front here with the with, with the windscreens in. Again, you could paint it first and then add the glass afterwards, which is good. Then that sticks on the front. Roof goes on with some photo etch, which is nice, which is I presume that's just like um um a square piece of brass to go around there, which is nice. And then you've got the location pins there to go and so you know which way to put that on. Um, you can either have it closed or you can have it open, depending on how you feel on the back. You may have one closed and one open. You know, it's up to you. 
Um, looks like some boxes to go on. And then I think that must be, um, I am assuming, is that tail light and stuff? I don't know. I have to look into that when I get the, um, when I have a look. But that's upside down there, by the way. So oh, I think that, is that the steps to get in? I don't know. I'll have, have a look into that. Uh, battery box there, I presume. That's where the battery goes. And then all that section there goes on top of the chassis. Uh, and then turn it back upside down again. So you look at underneath. Then you put in on the um, the um, the wings and the and the spray suppressant, whatever they're called. Um, and then you have here. Um, I wonder what that is. Oh yeah, that's the uh, the wing stays. So the wing stays go on there for the wings. Then you've got this. There you go. That is actually the steps you can have a folded or straight in that's a really nice touch it gives you another choice on how you do it one piece bonnet goes on they got the radiator there um and you've got that but i don't know whether that's see-through so we may not see that when you put it together we'll have a look at the uh at the uh at the plastic when we do and then final things is uh you've got it looks like um like looks like canvas there so you might have, there might be some canvas there to go there which is part of your door uh, some photo etch there for that there, which I presume is a sign. And and then you put, uh, you've got uh, one, two, three, four pieces there for your, your lamps at the front. And then you're basically done. One either side, and then you've got like uh, some sort of bar to go at the front there, bull bar or something. And then there's no call out sheet, I don't think. So I presume all the call outs are in the book as well. So as I say, you've got a uh, number A, then you've got. B, you've got C, so it's Matt Lynn in 74, but I think there's a desert that Tamiya do, which will maybe a little bit better than the 74, just saying. And then finally on the back, you've got this one here, which is the territorial service one, which is your Matt, Matt Dunkelgrun, um, which is a uh, an olive drab. So there you go. And that's basically the instruction. So let's get the old plastic out of the kit. Let's get the plastic out. Um, so, yeah, it has been manufactured by Academy because you can feel this is all Academy, definitely. So it's Academy plastic um, here. But you know the reasons why. Um, you know, it's a win-win for FX anyway. To get this kit done by Academy is definitely win-win. So there's the first two. Let's have a little look. So this one's Brew A here. Let's get Brew A done. Really nice, chunky. I saw this up at um, um, uh, Airfix Margate when I went up there. So, got to love this chunkiness. Really have got to love that. I just think it just looks so good. The same with the Buccaneer. They've gone for this um, really pushed out um, lettering system. So, but yeah, there you go. So, you, you know, there's a bit of the frame there. Look at that seat. There's a little bit of a sink mark there in the seat. Can you see that? Unfortunately. No little sink marks, you have to fill that in and give it a bit of a rub. But nothing else, there's no flash on this at all, you know, because a brand new kit. Nice detail on the back of the door there, can you see that? Oh, nice, it's, it's part of the roof, so look at the roof there. Nice detail, neat detail on the roof. Pretty smart there. Looks like that's part of the uh, the steps at the back. So there's the doorway there, there's the battery, I think that's a battery box anyway, and there's your passenger seat there. It's got a little bit of texture on there. And a little bit of texture on there to you know to give it that sort of like cloth leathery look depending which one you go for and there you go there's those roll-ups there which i presume that's how you make that into canvas quite a nice looking bit of kit there so let's go on to frame b this is frame b so you've got the floor plan there um you've got you know you can if i just push this up here close you can see there's parts there to you know to put the pedals on uh, you've got the center console there um all nice etched out so it's not that difficult to put together there's the bulkhead there with the um grill they're not see-through so they may look it but they're not they're just pressed in there um sides there very nice well she's bent over a little bit so there there you go there's the dash whoops I caught the camera there there's the oh I caught the camera again <laughs> so dashboard little bit of detail there you know you have decals to go on there anyway or decals depending on how you want to say it and there's your stretchers all one piece stretchers there so that's easily done as well so there's frame uh b getting through it quickly this one aren't we so ah there you go there's that there's that extra piece at single 
So I'll just cut through here, give it a pull through and open up. And then, oh, I've got a loose one. I've got a loose one. There you go, I've got two loose here. So it's a bit of a shame, but hey, it may, it may just be, it's very, oh it, yeah, it's gonna come off a lot careful. So this is frame D, remember there's no C in this one. And there, you, let's just start off with the front there. There's the front bonnet, proper nice there. Look at that, nice crispness. Tires, yeah, good bit of groove on them. As I say, they're in two hours, so they're two piece there. The steering wheel looks a little bit flimsy, so I'll be careful with that one, but it'll be easy enough to spray and paint. Very, very, very nice. Now, uh, just looking at the springs there, yep, yeah, so the leaf springs, can you see that? They've got the ridges of the leaf springs there. Very, very nice. And then there's that one, it's a one piece, I thought it'd be two piece, but it's a one piece uh, prop there to go front to back, four wheel drive bollocks and all that. Um, transmission there, I think, so, you know, it's like, it's, it's not half and half, it's like, you know, it's like got like a little cut out, so you stick them together, so you shouldn't get anything too wrong there, little pieces there, but yeah, the wheels, and the, well, there's the front, so there's the grill, just looking at the grill, and it's not see-through, that grill, so unfortunately, you won't be able to see the radiator behind, I've not seen the radiator, there's was, was a radiator here, oh, there's a radiator there, but so the front grill, you can't see through it, it's just pressed, so it's just like little dimples, well, you know, you can't have it all. You know, there's there's some nice detail there if I can get the focus. Some nice detail there on the pedals as well. And there's your brake uh, your brake drums there for your uh wheels there. Um there's your exhaust there as well. So lots of bits of detail in it, very, very nicely made, very nicely designed. And then the final piece is the one piece bonnet, which comes separately, part number fifty-five. Whoops, there you go. Um not a lot to do on this. I just stick and go, I think. So yeah, there's some in, you know injection pin marks here, but you've noticed on there, the injection pin marks are pretty well hidden. I can't see any that you're gonna have to worry about or filling in. You may want to because you know, you're know you that way inclined uh, so that you, know, you wanna make it perfect inside and out because what people don't see does matter to you. Um, but yeah, so there's the one piece bonnet. Finally, let's have a quick look in here at this which is the um the clear part it's nice look which is frame e frame e again perfect you know you dip that in some you know um humbro clear uh gloss they'll come up absolutely fucking banging mate banging yeah and they've even you can see the detail there for the windscreen wipers front and back there nicely done great effort now i just need to get back to the decal sheet because i'm going to open it because i think the photo etch is in here yeah it's not going to open it um it's definitely academy because it's it's got the academy print on the back so i don't suppose these are cartograph these are academy decals all right so just get that straight um and there you go you can see it's got airfix and there's your photo etch. Fantastic. Very, 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 very nice. Well, I think they've done a superb job on this FX, and I'm going to have fun building it. So there you are. That is the 1 to 35, 1 to 35th scale Austin K2 forward slash Y ambulance from FX. Brand new tool in this year. Um, manufactured by Academy, and it's going to be fun to build build excellent so folks we come to that point are you going to buy this kit are you going to build it if you buy it now you will get one of these airfix glasses so put it in the comments box below what you are going to put in your glass i've put all sorts in mine already <laughs> but yeah if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe ring that bell to be notified when i put out a new video also, if you like, um, on the screen now are my channel members who support me doing this channel. And um, if you'd like to become a member of this channel, they start from one ninety nine to eight pound ninety nine. Um, and now, you know, we, I'm doing, you know, I'll be doing exclusive live streams for the higher tier members and chats and competitions and stuff in the future. But if you want to do that, just click join next to the video down below. All right, brilliant. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.